All right, Anthony of Pamperware LLC. And uh, you might have been wondering why I did not do a Samsung Galaxy Note 8 review. Well, uh, simply put, I didn't like it. I don't like the way it looks. It looks like a literal candy bar. It looks thin. The width is the width is too thin. And I'm still a fan of the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. I know that was years ago, but the Note 2 was groundbreaking. I still have mine, honestly. Um, the size of the screen, the RAM built in, the make of it, the feel of it. Best phone I ever had, honestly. So anything after that, you know, just didn't do anything for me. Uh, the Note 7 actually was the best one Samsung ever made, technically, but then the battery was bad. And I don't I don't count that against them because that's a bad it's a separate part. But um yeah, this, we know the Note has the best screen, the best camera, uh, the best hardware, uh, but the measurements is just weird. I mean, weird. As long as you, you put it in your hand, you definitely have to use two hands to even get to the top of the screen to swipe down, and it's just weird. And I'm an Android fan. I know I recorded this with an Apple, as you can see, the iPhone 8 Plus, but yeah, that's why I didn't do a review of the Galaxy Note 8 because it's already the best phone out there and I'm not fond of this shape. So it was Anthony F. Pamperware LLC. That's why.